Yo, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, everybody. Hope everybody feeling good, feeling blessed, working hard to be successful. All right, y'all. I'm back from vacation. This is my first load back. This is load number 25. But before I get into this video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell. So you be notified when I drop brand new videos. Right now, I'm sitting in Jersey. I got to go down to Baltimore. I got to go get an oversize. So I'm waiting on my dispatcher to come in because my, my main dispatcher, she's out on fraternity leave. So I got a different dispatcher that's taking over her board. So I'm waiting for him to come in because I need permits for the load I gotta go get, I gotta go pick up an oversize. So, I'm waiting for him to get in because I called the office and after hours told me um, they're gonna leave him a message so he can get with, cause he gotta get with the permit department. So I know what route to take. We gotta get an escort set up because I don't got my trick card. I gotta go get that done. And I supposed to got it done when I did orientation, but they end up putting the load on me, so I ain't have time to go get that done. So I need to get, I'm gonna get that done sometime, maybe the, before the, the year is out or the beginning of next year. Also, I'm getting ready to go get my passport and everything done so I can be able to run up into Canada with loads and stuff like that. I already touched all the states on the mainland, so to go up into Canada and have that experience and I got that on my list of goals. So right now I gotta go outside because I need to go on my side box. I gotta get my flags, I gotta get my oversize, I gotta get um, everything set up because I got a lot of stuff under the bunk. So I'd rather go ahead and go get that stuff done now before I get there. So. Let's go outside. All right, y'all, so we down here in the port. As you can see, I got an escort because I don't got my trick card. I got to get my trick card. So we down here, we got to pick up a, a bulldozer, I believe is what we picking up. So I don't know which one we're getting. And I got they're gonna load it for me because I haven't done it myself. So we're gonna we're gonna see. Hopefully we get one of those. So we're gonna see. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. So, I'm in Virginia. I made it to Virginia last night after I left the port with this load. This is load number 25. So, listen. The RGN doing, doing the night part, doing this. Doing this was a headache yesterday. Jinkies. When you don't get it lined back up right, headache. But this is what my load looked like. Got a bulldozer. My the the blade shifted on me last night. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I stopped, I secured it, but you know, we got a pile of sitting on metal. So now I got to sit and get it fixed. Um, I did an X with, with the bulldozer. As you can see right here, let me put my coffee down. I did an X because this is a securement point, but I will have to run the chain to down here on the D-ring. 
So I did it this way through an X and then I came back here through an X on the tractors and then I did an indirect through the through the unit. So it gets delivered today in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, when they put this blade on me, it was sitting straight. It was sitting straight. Now look. So now I gotta take the chains off, take the banner, the oversized banner off, and use my chain to pull it back straight. So that's my dilemma this morning. I saw it last night once I parked right here because there wasn't no parking last night, so I made my own spot. So, but, so now I gotta get it back straight and fix it before I start rolling because I don't need this thing sliding any further and then it tilts down. So, um, I'm gonna figure it out. But right now, I think I'm gonna use this D-ring and hook it, hook it to right here, cause it's thick enough, and pull, pull it, pull it back. Use the ratchet binder to pull the chain back. So I think I think that's the game plan. It's nice out here today. I ain't even start working and I'm already hot. I got me some good coffee. So, this is my first load I got coming back from vacation. So, this is definitely much needed. This is definitely much needed. So. So let me jump on this, get to work, and do what I need to do with it so I can get rolling. I got I got restrictions on my permit, so I got to get this done so I can go ahead and get rolling, get this off, so I can go ahead and start working my way on getting my next load. All right, y'all. So I finally got it together, figured it out how I was going to do it. I threw an extra chain on it. So, you know, with flatbed, it's like a puzzle. So this time, what I did was... Instead of having this chain go there, I pulled this way, right? Like this, towards the front. Then I ran it over this, this bar here that connects to the bulldozer. So I know that's real secure. So I ran it this way and have the back pull like this. So it's pulling like this. Then we got it pulling like this. Right, we got it pulling like this. Then I put the chain around this bar here. And I got it pulling. So you see how I got it? I got it pulling, pulling, pulling. And then the other side is pulling towards the north, of, like pulling that way. Like if you're going towards that trailer. So, that's how that look. I got my oversized right here because you can't block none of the lights down here and stuff with the, with the oversized banner. So, took me a minute to figure it out, but I got it. So, I tightened it up. So, we about to roll out. And I'm gonna overlook my permits. I'm gonna overlook my permits and make sure everything is good to go. And we out of here. So, all right, let's go. All right, so load 25, deliver it, complete. Down here in North Carolina. This is a big Calipola dealership. 
so ain't even no room to turn around but and we pick up and we pick up little 26 tomorrow so I got here got unloaded up because there's no turnaround and my off tracking is a little bit further back so that's it low 26 no low 25 in the books it's your boy sinister and until the next trip we out of here